In this video, we'll create two types of workouts that you can do under Garmin Connect. So let's start with a very easy one first. Let's do a standard interval run workout here. So let's call this uh, a 10 run, one walk. We've got to keep this short because this is what's going to actually get displayed on our forerunner. So the standard 10 minute running, one minute walking. And we'll select uh, running as the uh, workout type, but it's going to be more or less default. All right, let's start here by creating a step. Let's create a workout step type here. And uh, for the duration, we'll uh, let this last as long as we hit the lap button. So once we're actually ready to do our 10 minutes of running, we can hit the lap and start the workout. Let's add the actually 10 minute run step. So for that, we will select interval for the step type. And for duration, we will select time. And we'll enter 10 as the value. So that's our 10 minute running. Now we can add a target to this step, but we'll do that in another workout. But we'll just leave this as no target for now. So we're just interested in 10 minutes of running. And now let's add our one minute walking. Now in step type, uh, let's see, recovery uh, will be counted. Rest won't be counted in your workout. So if you don't want to count the distance or time spent walking, you can choose that. So what we'll do here is put one minute walk break and done. So that means that we just have 10 minute intervals and our one minute walk break won't get counted overall. Now we want this to repeat itself a few times. So we want, just want to do 30 minutes of running. So we'll select three times and now we'll just drag our steps into our repeat block here. So it might be a little tricky to get them in the right order, but you can eventually get it. And there we go. So we have our run and walk repeat three times. That's set up. And now we can just uh, end this workout by adding a cool down step. And again, we'll uh, select, uh, actually, let's select time. Let's select five minute cool down. Or whenever you stop the watch. So let's click on done. Here down the notes, we can add a little bit more description. So for example, in this particular case, you just wanted to, to consider the 10 minute uh, workout without your rest breaks. You can make a little note here, or let's say you had another workout that you do wanted to count your rest breaks for the overall distance. Let's click save. And from here, we can do two things. We can add this workout to our calendar. We'll cover that in another video. Or we can send this workout to our device. So let's click on that right now. And we have our Forerunner 610 ready. And we'll just click here on Send Workout. So it's going to queue it up. Next time I will sync uh, my Forerunner with my computer, it will send the workout and I'll be able to see it on the watch. To create a new workout, we can just click here on the left. Here let's create a heart rate training long run workout. So let's do our Sunday run. We're going to do 10 kilometers, do zone three. Again, heart rate training is kind of in another video. So we'll create a new step. Let's create warm up again. This step will last until we press the lap. Let's create our 10K distance. So our interval. And we're gonna select distance instead of time. And we'll put 10 kilometers. And because we're doing heart rate training, we're gonna make sure that we want to stay within our easy zone, which is happens to be zone three. And click on done. And that's it. We can add a cool down here. And again, we can uh, put it as, as long as I add the lap button or hit stop on the watch. And I can add a note, click save. If I want to change my mind, I can go back, add some notes. All right, let's click on save. All right, that's it. That is how you create workouts using a Garmin Connect. And from here, you just send it off to your watch, and this will show up.